So I don't know about you guys, but I think they're ready to get out of there. Mean mugging. Today is a special day for us here at the Crocker Homestead. We have never hatched our own chicks before in an incubator. So today we had to get ready to move them from the incubator into what is going to be their temporary home for a while until they're big enough to move out to the barn. We had the bin in the barn um, for a, about a week and so we had to go get it and bring it back inside but first we had to clean it so we had to get them ready and prepare them we went to tractor supply we bought the wood chips and chick starter everything that we needed we like to use the wood chips in the bins because for us it is a no waste product it's super easy to deal with it's easy to clean and once it gets dirty we just take it and dump it into our compost pile and so it works out perfect for us try and check to see if any of the other eggs were cracking and there was one egg that um, the chick was trying to hatch out of for a few days now you know since the beginning and so it hadn't been able to get out on its own so we decided to assist it just a little bit we didn't take it out all the way and we didn't touch it too much and it's still in the incubator we're really hoping that it makes it it might be the week of weakling so unfortunately, there is a chance that it might not make it, but we're doing everything that we can to make sure that it does. So now that the chicks are all set up in their new temporary home, we got the, their feet in there, we put some water in there, we dip their beaks in the water to make sure that they know that this is their water and this is their food. We got them under some heat lamps so they're all nice and cozy. So, so far it is doing great. We've gotten 13 chicks out of 22. So that's absolutely amazing to us so far and hopefully, fingers crossed, that some more hatch. But if not, we are happy with what we got. So the chicks are all set. We have them inside, we got them under heat lamps, we got them some chick starter and some fresh water. We have 12 so far and we have one that's hatching in the incubator right now. Hopefully that one makes it. We aren't sure if the other ones are gonna hatch. They should have already hatched by now, but we're just gonna leave them in there for another day and hopefully some more hatch. Guys, yesterday was crazy. I went outside and I was like, what in the world's going on? I saw the dogs kind of running in the yard 
and chasing something. And I was like, oh man, our little chicks got out because now they're starting to roam around. No, guess what? It was the quail. I was so mad. I was like, Jay Lena didn't even lock the quail cage. What? <sighs> But it wasn't even Jaylena. It was the freaking goats. The goats jumped up and opened the latch. And the latch was wide open. And I ran out there and I saw birds flying. And I was like, oh my gosh. Guys, we didn't get it on video because it was such a last minute thing. But here is a reenactment of it. And I swear to you, it was pretty dang close to this. So we came running out frantically and I mean we were just and we go out there and I don't know how many are out I don't have time to count and so we're just on this mad Easter egg hunt for quail and luckily they can't fly far but they are fast as soon as you're about to grab them you're about to jump on them and then they just fly away We were hopping over fences, I mean, in Tom, Rhonda's property, behind our property. We were just going everywhere catching these birds. I was yelling at Jaylena, she was yelling at me, and we were running this way and running that way trying to catch him and it was a nightmare but I hate to say this but it was fun at the same time but we got almost all of them and finally so we ran around and we thought we got them all we we're doing good we put them in there and then we look over and the dogs got one because it flew out in the yard which we can't blame them they didn't go in the fence to get them but they got it and it was almost dead so we did the humane thing and I killed it and plucked it and now we're going to eat it. I don't know if I've ever had quail. If I have, it's been a long time, but we are going to eat that sucker today. We're going to fry it up and see if it's even worth it. You don't get a lot of meat, but we're going to find out here shortly. So yeah, no joke, pretty close to that. It was wild. We lost one that I know of. We didn't count them again. But I lost one that went out into the field behind our house. Couldn't find it. Hopefully, it'll come back in the yard because that's kind of what you can do. You can let them out. And as long as you keep one, I think a male, they call them back and they come back. And so, hopefully, since all the other ones are there, it'll eventually come back and we can catch it if it survives. But that was super crazy. Super unexpected. But that's what keeps the homestead interesting. And yes, we put a wire on the lock now so it can't just open on its own lesson learned hope you guys learned a lesson lock your stuff up so I think the rest of our day is gonna be cleaning kind of putting this room together in here this is the office the, the desk used to be on that side but we thought with this cool wooden wall it'd be a lot cooler to have the computer over there we can set up our camera stuff we can put all the stuff that you guys sent us up there do all of that cool stuff let's get to cleaning and then we got to cook the quail and then who knows what else we're gonna get into I don't know because we never planned this but let's check the chicks real quick one more time doing good cuddled up over here in the heat but they're doing great what are you doing getting ready to do some dishes and sweeps and uh, I think that that'll be all for the cleaning today. We kind of made a little bit of a mess with the chick's um, wood shavings. They kind of got everywhere, so sweeping it up real good in here. And then we have some stuff like this cage that needs to go out to the barn. That we had the rooster in. Yeah, that we had the rooster that was injured. He was in there. Then we got some boxes to we are debating on whether we want to just tear them up and burn them or put them in the compost. I think we have too much cardboard in the compost as of right now, so we probably just burn them. Which, let's be real folks, Jared does not have a problem burning stuff. So that's our gift to Jared is cleaning the house. And letting him burn the cardboard. There you go. So uh, yeah, let's find something else cool to do now. 
Yesterday we did the peroxide spray on our plants and let's check them out real quick. Strawberries are doing pretty good. Um, this is growing back a little better than it was yesterday. It's got a little more life in it. There is definitely more life in this stuff right here. There ain't no questioning that. It's definitely picking up. This stuff is doing good. This stuff to me looks a little better. Not amazing, but a little better. And then down here, as you remember, this was all flat, no good. And it's sticking up a little bit. Looks like this is kind of, you know, sticking straight up compared to what it was. And you know, this too is kind of up. So of course, it's just the first day in. From what I read, it takes about a week. But it looks like it's working pretty decent, I think. So since we're out here, let's go check on the goats and see what they're up to. You lazy pup. Such a good boy. So the goats seem to be doing pretty good. And, uh, and you know what? Sometimes you just gotta go pat your dogs on the head. So as you can see, Jerry bought a new toaster oven. Here's the old one. It was super dirty and kind of gross and it was very hard to clean. So Jerry bought a new one. And I'm going to try to figure out something cool to create with that thing, like some kind of heat source, some kind of something. I don't know, I don't want to throw it away. I want to use it. So if you guys can think of anything cool that I could do with it, Throw some, uh, throw some comments down in the comments because uh, I want some ideas. I want, you know, I like to create stuff. So give me an idea what I could do with that thing because I don't want to throw it out. I want to use it for something. It still works. It's just very dirty and we couldn't get it clean. So today was a great day. I think. Yeah, we got to move the chicks and hang out with them a little bit. I've been sitting in there with them and I like to watch them and right now they're all passed out on each other. It's pretty cute. And being able to recreate that quail experience <laughs> was awesome. Yeah, it was pretty fun. If you guys could see that in real life, when it really happened, it was no different. Yep, yeah, you've seen it now. Seen it now. You've seen it now. So I think we're going to cook the quail. I'm going to cook the quail. You guys thought you were going to get to see that, but you're not. We're going to wait until Jerry gets home, and we're going to cook it up so we can all try it. But I'll be in tomorrow's vlog. Um, I'm very curious to see how much it cooks because it's not a lot of meat. It is not big at all. I feel like it's a lot of work for just a tiny bird. Yeah. Like but raising them and to eat and stuff. Really and truly, the butchering part of it, the processing, was super simple. I mean, it was very easy way easier than a chicken or anything else I've ever done. I I don't know. I didn't know. I literally just went, whoosh, pulled the feathers off, got scissors, cut it up, took the stuff out, and that was it. It was ready to go. So tomorrow we will uh, put that in the vlog because we're going to try that later. I think it's going to be delicious. I hope it's going to be delicious. If not, we got like 27 more to eat. <laughs> so hopefully you guys like the more extreme editing craziness even though some people are gonna say that music is terrible <laughs> but we're also young yeah, and so to each their own to each their own and so today we're gonna leave you with an inspirational quote by jaylena oh man didn't i do it last time sure i'll do this one i just want to give a quick shout out to our awesome subscribers who sent us these socks with puppies on them so thank you puppy sock lady so instead of leaving you guys with the inspirational quote, today I'm going to leave you with an inspirational dance. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Are you going to dance with me? No. Why not? Show them your, show them my, my reverse uh, dab. My reverse dab. So I'm going to end this 
with a new trend for all you kids out there. You know dabbing? Jaylena came up with the reverse dab. <laughs> Is that what she did? What were you trying to do? I don't know. But I'm, I'm I forgot like, what you were trying to do. You are trying to do something in the back. No, you don't hold it. You just... Well, you're trying to reach it, but you can't. <sighs> First dab. So... We're gonna leave with that. See you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching, subscribing. We have a Facebook group down there if you don't know about it. Subscribing on YouTube is free. For free. I didn't know we were getting all gangster <laughs> over here. So check us out on all the socials. We'll see you tomorrow in the morning on Coffee with the Crockers. Chicka chicka pick